What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker101, back with another episode of ARK. I hope you guys enjoyed that last episode. <coughs> the wolf, I, I did something different, and I'm going to start doing this. I should Honestly, I should have been doing this earlier with my tames. So, what I'm doing is I'm creating notes. I'm setting my timer on my phone right now so I don't go over. Stopwatch. Start. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm putting notes on my dinos that I tame. So I, I know what they are for breeding purposes. So if you don't know how the breeding mechanic works is, it doesn't necessarily matter, matter what level it is when you, you have it at. It's what it tamed out at, what its natural level is. <coughs> so here's our wolf. I got him up to level 122. And there's our note. Um, Snowflake. Uh, it was a level 80 when I knocked it down. It tamed out to 119. So I've been pumping some hit points and still regaining them. I'm going to pump melee damage now. Um, but the whole purpose is that way when I get another one, I'll know that this tamed out at 119. So when I breed it, I can breed it another high level. And well, got a lot of trike eggs now. I want some scorpion eggs. I don't see it. So anyway, um, you know, last episode we went out and got the art, one of the artifacts. I've got the caves looked up and I went to another cave and grabbed another artifact, which I'll show you. And as, as I feared, um, I ran into three spiders in the whole cave. And these caves are supposed to be just full of spiders, full of um, scorpions, full of just everything. There's supposed to be just a lot of stuff in there. It's supposed to be really hard to go through. For some reason, because I'm playing on local, it doesn't. Let's check out the egg situation. We got tons of eggs. Now, I got 33 scorpion eggs. So I should be able to get two pretty high level spinos off of them. Or not spinos, T Rexes. Um, I want to tame some spinos too. Check on the beer sitch. No beer. All right, so I'm putting all my artifacts in here. I couldn't. I didn't want to make another storage box, but so we got the artifact of the massive now, and it's on the South Peninsula, um, just south of us on the cave. There's a cave down there. Um, the next cave we go to. Let me pull it up here. Pardon me. Ill prepared. It's going to be to the south. I think we're going to try that one out. Um, again, doing these caves, you know, it's kind of fun. I want—I mean, I pretty much got them. I need megalodon teeth, which those won't be too hard to get. Just take out the megalodon and go kill a bunch of megalodon. So, what I'm doing though is this time I'm taking out the pteranodon. And the reason I'm doing that uh, is because it's one, it's faster, and plus you can they're small enough to fit in a lot of the caves. So that makes it beneficial to an extent. Um, but this thing flies so fast, the stuff is slow rendering in half the time. So we'll kind of slow down and watch. I think most of it's already in. But I landed in one spot, and I landed up. I went. I went ahead and here. I'll, I'll take you up here real quick, since we're over here. Because it's nearby, the next cave is. It's just south of it. Uh, okay, so, these are the obelisks. And this is where you can upload down. I'll see how I hadn't loaded in yet. Just land for a second. Give it a minute. It's going to probably glitch for a second. slowly generating just all of a sudden appear. But anyway, this is where you can upload your dinos, upload items, and um, if the server you join or servers you play on allow for it, that bam, look at that. <sighs> Something else up here. Um, basically, you can transfer your dinos with you to another server and take them with you. It's kind of cool in that aspect. Um, but this is also where you summon the brood monitor. And this one doesn't have the upload on it. I think it's another one to take them to, but Summon brood mother. So you need eight megalodon teeth, four Tyrannosaurus arms, four Agitavis talons, two sauropod vertebrae, artifact of the hunter, artifact of the pack, artifact of the massive, the clever, the skylord, and the devourer. We've got the massive and the skylord, so we still need the hunter, the pack, the clever, and the devourer. So there's still four more we gotta get. So let us continue our quest to find the artifacts. And I, you know, I didn't realize, but there's a lot of this map that I, I mean, I've been around the map. Ooh. To remember, you're over here, buddy. What level are you? 
Uh, it's only level 40. Um, there's a lot of places on this map I have not been, and there's a lot of, I mean, really pretty, a lot of pretty stuff over here. We kind of fly more inland. So just on that south peninsula down there is where the where the other cave is that I went to earlier. There's a lot of cool spots around here to build. I mean, there's a T-Rex. I tell you, if I find that Giga again, I'm so going to go after him. See how just the trees just kind of popped in? I'll have to land someplace here in a minute, look at my map, and check where we're at. Because it's kind of down on the south tip here. Oh, the tra track falling down. So, and I want to get, I need to start getting some other dinos for the egg farm, but we, we won't do that until we move. Oh, lagging. Yeah, so just rocks kind of fell into view. This thing's a little too fast for this. Just land, make sure there's nothing vicious around. Hop off. Look at the map. Okay, let's get out of the sun there. Okay, so we flew by. We need to go back to that southern tip around, see, about 90, 55 maybe? A little bit north of that. So we kind of need, from where we're at, we need to fly up towards 80, 55. And I probably should have brought a GPS. I got the blueprint to make one. I just never did it. There we go. Turn off his speed. Yeah, flying in a cave with this guy is just insane. I, I, yeah, I was in the lava cave. That's where that south cave is. And holy crap, that thing's vicious. I actually built up here on one of the servers I played on. Let's see here. Oh. Ooh, Carno. Let's see. I need to land down here. Let's take care of the situation here. I wish you could look at the map while you're under dinos, and we need to cross over. It's kind of a pain in the butt in that aspect. Oh, and I just dropped a deuce. I think this is the one that's kind of like... Oh, another car now. Oh, yeah, this is the one that's in the... Yeah, I know where this one's at. I gotta turn my speed off. I'm gonna get glitch into it. I'm gonna pass it. This one's kind of hard to find. This is one I actually like had a GPS and still couldn't find the dang thing. I hate doing that. And we're right about where it's at. Go a little bit more south. Oh, no. It's right around down here. Actually, I think it's over on this side. I'll tell you. Best laid plans are not what I'm special at. Let me just piss something off. your mate, weren't you? Freak. Oh, we need to go further south. Alright, I'm gonna cut recording until we find it. I'll be right back, folks. Then we're back. We found the cave. Took a little bit, but we did it. Oh, damn, we're gonna get the lag. I had to turn my gamma like all 
Oh, come on, load in. Now, again, I don't know if there's going to be anything in here. I mean, it could be another situation like that where it wouldn't. Um, I'm hoping that they're, I don't know. I really don't know. But we're going to try to see if we can't find it. I know it's in the water cave. Or is it? I think this is. Well, I couldn't tell you. I'm not going to speculate. So far, nothing. Okay, this is the one that goes straight down, I believe. Or is it? I don't know. What was that saying? Something about stun. Let's see here. Oh, I'm cold. I'm not getting a little freezing icon. Oh, now I am. Yeah, see, I don't know. I can't remember. I've seen a lot of the people do the caves. I think at some point I should be seeing something to kill. Like down here, there should be nothing. There should be a bunch of Titanoboas, Sarcos, I think, even. Now, there's also pretty good drops down here. And I did find one. I got a um, an apprentice pike, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that real quick. Apprentice pike. It does a hundred one max durability. It's one hundred twenty nine percent melee damage. So that's pretty cool. Let it drop up here. One spotter. Oh, there's another one. I think the reason is because I'm pretty much in one area on the map. It's a drop. I don't think this will be that good, but we'll see what's in it. Oh, look at that. A cloth shirt blueprint. Ramshackle, that is. That's not too bad, actually. I kind of like the ramshackle stuff because in hot situations and stuff is pretty good. I don't know if there's any other drops in here. See what's up here. I guess we're coming up, Scorpion. So there's actually some stuff in here, just not a lot. I gotta be careful doing that spin. Because there's water around here, I'll get thrown into the water, and that could be the end of this. Alright, let's see what we can get into over here. Did I just go the wrong way? Yes, I did. So there's a big cave. It'd be cool if that drop resets on the way out. I can check it again. And folks, I, I, I mean, I've seen people go through these caves, but I have no recollection. I do not remember any of this. Trying to do the darnest I can. If I walk a lot, it's because I don't want to fly too much and get screwed around. Let's kind of search the cave around, see what we find. And you can tame the spiders and stuff. I think this is the cave you'd want to go to. There's supposed to be dun beetles and stuff. It looks like there's the there's the artifact. Trophy of the hunter. Now what I've been doing is I've been getting two. I've been putting one on the Pteranodon and one on me. That way I can I kind of want to decorate the base and trophies because you can put trophy bases and they float. Oh, that's some place I could go. Just kind of look around, see if there's anything else around here. I 
right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna take this. There's some weird noises going on outside. I gotta, I gotta investigate. It's like deja vu all over again, isn't it? Aha! I don't know what the noise was outside. Oh, hold on. Gotta put this one on him. I've got the artifact of the massive already on him because I grabbed two of those. We'll have to go back to that first one in the snow area and get this, get that one. Because I want, like I said, I want to get two of them to decorate the base because you can build trophy platforms and all that stuff. Build some pretty cool things. I just cannot believe there's nothing down in these caves. This is quite weird. I mean, I I haven't gone back to them more than once, so. I mean, I don't know. It's a thing or not. Look at the crystals on the ceiling. Not all these crystals you can harvest. Some of them are just looks. Let's go and explore up here. I don't think I've been up here too much. Oh, wow. This might be the way back out, but let's see if there's any more drops up here. Oh, this is the way out, because this is the way we came in. I don't see the drop. I see a scorpion spawned in, so I mean, I guess only so many dinos can spawn in because there's so many dinos on my map, and there's only me playing, so I'm not killing a lot of stuff. I mean, I do kill a majority of stuff, but I think it spawns back in before. And that might be because I have my... It might be because I have my resource respawn up, and I wonder if that affects dino spawns too. That could be a thing. Oh, I just got turned around bigger than crap. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. <laughs> and I'm not. Well, I tell you, this, this caving is so intense, guys. I hope you guys can stand it. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm nervous, I'm telling you. This is just riveting stuff. And as you can tell, it's sarcasm in my voice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Again, that's what happens when you go too fast. Why well, is it going to turn around bigger than i get out? Let's go down here. I don't think I went down this way. Oh, I did. Oh, uh, that's, that's a little shortcut, I guess. So there's there's multiple ways, I guess, in some of these caves to get where you're going. We're gonna head on out. Let's walk out. I don't like crawling. It gets real tight up here and flying is gonna kind of jack me up. <coughs> well, we got three artifacts down, folks. And uh, yeah, that's a thing. What is this? I guess I just like to curve around it or whatnot. Oh, this drives me nuts. It's all the same color. Just really shocked I'm not seeing a lot of stuff in here. And that's not the way out. There we go. I thought I saw something flying around. Hey, that's cool by me though, because I mean, honestly, guys, these caves are no joke. I mean, they're pretty hardcore when it comes down to it. I mean, there's one cave which we'll think probably the next one we go to. It's just a straight drop down, and it's just getting down there. You have to go through a ton of bats. I got my gamma turned. I looked. <laughs> the world's gonna load in. <laughs> Watch this. It's gonna get real dark all of a sudden. Now, there's actually another artifact real close. We're going to see if we can't find that. So I come out of this one and go straight north. There's a little monkey there. There it goes. Oh, so I'm not going to wait. Okay, slow down. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is a cave out in the middle open. This is where the gig is at, I believe. 
over this area. I want to say, because I remember I found the cave while I was running around trying to go for the Giga. I'll land real quick. Hop off. Check out the map, see where we're at. Oh, wrong one. Oh, we went the wrong way. All right, Mr. Wizard. All right, we're going to find this next cave, and we're going to be right back, folks. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> we have found our cave. Interestingly enough, we left us a little present. I've got the game already turned up. I think this might be the water cave. I don't know. I'm going to quit saying that. Let's let this bad boy load in. I think after this one, we're going to be done for the day on caving. I mean, I guess the good thing about this is you're getting to see what the caves look like, get to do a little bit of collecting artifacts, so we can summon the root mother. But it's actually just, it's not supposed to be this easy. I mean, seriously. Wait a minute. Have we been in this one? No. This is the right cave. I think this might be this is the one that has the straight drop down so we'll see if there's any bats in here there should be a ton of them at the bottom well, I think this is it again I'm gonna walk and I'm not about to yeah this is the one I think This has got a lot of crazy jumps to it. Oh, I actually don't know what this one is. This is a cold cave, apparently. Well, I'm ice cubed in here. I can't stay in here too long. <laughs> oh, just a dead end, my friend. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much. I actually got some stuff in here. A couple spiders. Missing something here? Oh god, not that way. Oh no. Well, it just comes back where we came from. To dead end. I think this is that really hard one. Which is kind of. Let's just look and see here. Oh shit. Uh, what just happened? Oh, this isn't good. Alright, <laughs> I just fell into a dead zone, and this is how we fix that. Uh, I think we're going to save the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the cave for later, guys. We're going to stop here for the day. This is, as always, this has been Bloodstalker101. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, we'll get back into it, and I'll show you what will happen. Um, it should bring me up. It was loading. I don't know if it saved there. I hope it didn't save there. If not, we might be screwed.
That's interesting, though. I don't know what I hit, but I wasn't coming out of it. And I, the, again, the game's not finished, so there's a lot. There are, in these caves, there are... There are some pretty little bad spots to get into, um, where you have to have admin rights, and even even having your admin stuff on, you still won't be able to get bodies back. I mean, that's something that's on PC servers. I don't know how the server, I don't know how they do admin rights on the Xbox servers. I don't know anybody. I mean, that's one thing about hosting yours. You need to be able to have that that ability to go into infinite mode and things like that to take care of stuff on the do admin on the server. If you got abusive players blocking them, things like that. Um, if they build and block structure, you gotta be able to take it down. So. I don't know if they have that ability or not. I don't know if there's even admins that watch the servers because honestly, I don't think it is. Because it's been a lot of people's complaints on the Xbox. I had someone comment me asking me what server I play on, and I told him I said I, I play on my local host. I don't play on the servers. And he was just he, the guy was the, the kid was just looking for a place to play where he didn't get messed with. And I, I tend to agree with him. That's unfortunately the Xbox version of Ark is nothing but just trolls. I mean, I think I've talked about in the beginning, the earlier videos, my crappy, crappy uh, quality videos on the graphics, that is, but, you know, I can't reiterate enough that even on the PC, I mean, I got lucky on my PC server I play on for the simple fact that we got into a pretty tight-knit group. Everybody's pretty down-to-earth about things. Um, you know, they don't do, I mean, you know, everybody gets along pretty well, and you don't have that trolling type stuff. But again, on my, my server, you can't just pick up wild dino, dinos and whatnot. You have to tame them, then you can pick them up and carry them. But we do that for a specific reason, because, you know, previously, before I joined the server, they had people picking up scorpions and things of that nature. Okay. That's good. It saved me here. It's before I found the cave. So we're going to jet back to home. Drop off these artifacts. And, uh, get out of Dodge, because, uh, that was scary enough as it is. I'll come back and get this one later. I'll see if I can figure out what the glitch is on it. Really not sure why it did that. Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of freaky to me. I'll look at this. See, hadn't spawned in yet. Look at that waterfall up ahead. And see this this right now. What you see, this is oh tree spawned in. Before the tree spawn in, that's kind of what all the ARC servers look like, because there's no resources left, because they took them all. And that's another thing, you know, kind of sucks about the about the servers. I mean, no offense, I mean, it's a, I mean, I love this game. I will play this game regardless, but, I mean, ooh, that's some really bad lagging. But, I mean, the, the bottom line, the bottom, the fact of the matter is this. You know, you buy a game, you want to have fun, you want to be able to play with your friends, and you want to be able to do something. And um, on Ark, I mean, I suggested that um, he join that the that the guy join um, a dedic uh, you know host a dedicated server, you know where someone's got it, you know find a group of people that you play. There's a lot of PvP servers like that. Um, I don't know what I don't know exactly what how it's going to work, but I mean I'm thinking about joining one if I can find one that's not password protected. A lot of them are password protected. You got to know people, so you know it's kind of how it is. Um, I mean, other than that, you know, I, I mean, oh, God, it's just too fast. I really got to turn my speed down. Other than that, I mean, it's just, you know, it sucks sometimes. But again, this game's awesome, though. I mean, it really is. I've got people who watch the videos I work with that are like, you know, they've never, never seen or heard of the game. Like, this is a sweet game. I'm like, you don't even know the half of it. And the fact of this game, and I keep saying this, and I, I know I sound like a broken record, and I'm not sponsoring, I'm not a work for wild card or any of that crap. But the fact of the matter is this, out of any game I've ever played, this is one of the most addictive ones. I never played World of Warcraft though, so I can't speak from experience on that. But the bottom line is, this game is just awesome. I mean, you have a lot of crafting ability, you have a lot of building ability, you have, you have a, a lot of ability. Um, you know, one of the, one of the um, wild card when they talked about, added, when people questioned them and wanted them to add more servers, because the servers that are out there are just basically crap. <coughs> Excuse me, I couldn't my, mute the mic in time. And what's happened is you've got people who've been on the server since it started, and because of that, they tend to, their alpha alpha tribes, they just take over the whole thing. And um, they talked about doing wipes more frequently. And I really believe, and this is just my common belief, I don't know if this is truth or not, I think when the game fully releases, there's going to be a major wipe on everything. 
um, on all official servers, definitely. I think that that will probably be the case, and that needs to happen on official server. Give everybody a fresh start on the game. I mean, I don't mind starting from scratch. I mean, I hate it, but I don't mind it. I mean, it could be worse. I don't mind it on a vanilla server. I mean, excuse me. I don't mind it on a modded server because it's easier to gather your resources, etc. I mean, uh, Dio, the server I play on, we they wiped three times the dark, twice, one time because they had a, it just it died, it crashed. Another time because we took away the small dragons mod because I, the small dragons are awesome mod, but it really broke the game, and I, I really see the point of that because nobody used any other dinos but the dragons. You didn't need to. You didn't need a Quetzal, you didn't need a, a Argentavis, you just get you a, get you one dragon, get a male, you know, you buy an egg off of somebody, hatch it, and, you know, offer them, you know, ask if you can mate it with somebody else's dragons. I mean, one of the admins on the server who gave us, I mean, she had so many dragons, she was giving us dragons, it was hilarious. You know, she just, I pulled up in her, I pulled up at her base, and it looked like a dang used car lot for dragons. It was hilarious. I mean, I, I mean, literally, I was waiting for some dude to offer to, pay, you know, do my taxes for free, <laughs> to file my taxes for me. So, anyway, folks, as always, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, we're going to be doing a lot. we still got a lot of stuff we got to get done. The cave thing I'm going to kind of put on hold for a little bit after that little incident there. i got to figure out what's going on with that. We might go to a different cave next time. But I really want, I mean, what I hate, and I don't know if I recorded or not, I killed a level 120 raptor. Oh, that hurts so bad. I didn't know what level it was, and I killed it, and I just saw you killed a 120 raptor. That hurt. Because I didn't think 120s existed on the server, because I've never seen one out of my game. I've only seen 116s, the highest dino I've ever seen, so. They do exist. I will find my little white my little white dragon there, tame him up, bring home a level 120 raptor tamed up to 179. And I will kibble tame it, and it'll be all good. So, folks, and I did find something else out, peeps. Oh, I feel like such a tool bag. I knew there was a way to do it. I just gotta get used to it. Now, I don't. You can't zoom out though. Oh, you can. Oh no. Hold on. We're gonna play with this real quick because this is awesome. See, so you hold down select, and you can go to your orbital cam. Okay. Why well, won't it let me zoom out? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Oh, look, check it out. Let's get the gamma down real quick. Yeah, that's way too high. Oh, finally, dude. I feel like such a tool for this. I've been trying to figure this out forever. This is what I wanted to do. This will be my thumbnail. So, folks, I hope you liked the video. Um, as I... Oh, Gotta get a proper way to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a great. I've been having fun. Um, you know, I just, like I said, I always love this game. So, you know, had a good day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love this shit. Uh, let's see. So, this is Bloodstalker101 saying peace out, y'all. <laughs>